in this video we are going to talk about real number line you will need to fully understand this in statistics so number line so we have a line uh, we have an origin origin is zero right in the middle we have negative numbers on the left positive numbers on the right do you see that the line has one arrow pointing to the left and one arrow pointing to the right so on the left end we have a symbol the symbol is called negative infinity. So what is negative infinity? Look at the numbers. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, right? Negative 4, negative 5. Now, give me a number that is all the way on the left-hand side. Can you write such number on your paper? The answer is no. So that's why we use negative infinity. We don't know what that number is. So since we don't know, this is math, everything is possible. Then we use a symbol, negative infinity, to represent what we don't know. On the right hand side, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so on and so forth. Tell me, what is the biggest number on the right hand side? The biggest number, biggest value. Can you write such numbers on your paper? The answer is no, you cannot. So since we don't have such number, we use positive infinity. Positive infinity and negative infinity, they don't represent a specific number, all right? Positive infinity represents a number that is positive and extremely large. Negative infinity represents a number that is negative and extremely large. We don't know the exact value of positive infinity and negative infinity. The easiest way to memorize how real number line works is we have zero right in the middle, negative on the left, positive on the right, or you say we have zero in the middle, big number on the left, sorry, big number on the right and small number on the left. So starting right in the middle, the origin, as you move to the right, the numbers are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, right? Big number on the right, as you move to the left hand side, the numbers are getting smaller, smaller and smaller. So zero right in the middle, big on the right, small on the left, all right? So in this problem, I want you to plot the following numbers on the number line. So we have zero, zero is easy, zero is right here, right? So this is zero. And then uh, 3, uh, I, I see ne negative 4, they are easy. What about 6.5? 6.5 is between 6 and 7, right? So here is 6.5. And then what about 9.75? 9.75 is close to 10, so this number is 9.75. And then negative 6.25 is a little bit more than negative 6, right? So negative 6.25 is right here. 6.25 that's how you do it very simple so moving on to the next one i want to find the distance between two numbers how we how do we do it so let's say we have a number line and then i have two numbers on the line so one on the left side one on the right side remember big on the right small on the left what is the distance between a and b the distance is equals to you b minus a so let's say b is equals to 2 and b a is equals to 2 and b equals to 10 so the distance is equals to 10 minus 2 there are 8 units between 2 and 10 all right so let's take a look negative 10 and negative 2 so what is the distance between them uh, you can count right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 or you do big minus small negative 2 minus negative 10. Do you know how, how to do this? Minus minus becomes a plus, so negative 2 plus 10. There are 8 units between negative 2 and negative 10. Negative 7.5, 7.5 is right here. And uh, 4, past the 4. So this is 4, this is negative 7.5 how many units between them. So the best way to count is you start right here, right? So uh, let's say we are on we are on seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and then plus the little half unit. So the total is 11.5, 11 11 right? So the total is 11.5. If you do math, you do 4 minus negative 7.5, so that is a 4 plus 7.5 equals to 11.5. That's how you do it. 
uh, can you practice one more for me? So sometimes you don't, when you solve a problem like this, you don't always get a number line. So how about this? I am asking you to find the, dis the distance between negative 5 and 9. Negative 5 and 9. So how do you draw a quick number line? So here is how I do it. I know negative is on the left, positive is on the right, or I can say negative is on small number on the left, big number on the right. The distance is 9 minus negative 5, so which is 9 plus 5 equals to 14. So I don't even need to count the, the grids and lines at all. So I know the distance between negative 5 and 9 is 14 steps. How about this? From negative 10 to negative 2, there are A steps. So starting at negative 10, you move A steps to the left, you will be able to reach to negative 2. How's that? So moving on to the next one number line, plot these numbers. Okay, should, should be very easy. So we have a 0, we have a 3, we have a negative 4, and then we have a 6.5. So 6.5 is right here. That is 6.5, and then 9.75, and then negative 6.25, a little bit more than negative 6. And then uh, negative 9.8, almost 10, negative 9.8, negative 5.5, and then negative 0 0.7, and then 3.25. Simple, right? So how about this? You sketch your own line. So here is what I will do. Again, zero in the middle. Negative on the left, positive on the right. Negative 4 and negative 1.8. 1 1 which one is smaller? Negative 4 is much smaller, right? So that is negative 4. Here is negative 1.88. And then 10 is the biggest. And then the 7. And then the 4.50. Okay. And then the last one. I sketch my own line. I know that 0 is in the middle, positive on the right. So I have 0 0.01. So this is a 3. This is a 7.77. Just keep a reasonable distance between them because this is only a sketch, right? And then negative 9.1. And then we have negative 6.42. That's how easy it is. All right. So in this, that will be or in this video, if you think my lesson is helpful, please like, subscribe, and then share this video out for me. I appreciate your help really, really much. I see you all in the next lesson.